Today I'm going to talk to you and show you how to manage and create assignments. First thing you would want to do is in the assignments tab is you want to want to create groups of assignments. So most of us are on standards based um, assessment. So we're going to create a group called summative. Save. And then I'm going to click the plus group again. I'm going to click create formative. And maybe you also use informative, so those non-graded assignments. And I'll create that group. That way, whenever I create an assignment, I'll put it into one of those groups, and students will know how they're being assessed. I'm then going to delete this default assignments group. So now I have my groups. If you create groupings of assignments in different ways, you can do that as well. All right, now I want to create an assignment. So I'm going to click the blue plus assignment button. I'm going to give my assignment a name. I'm going to put anything in this box, uh, resources, supporting documents, um, videos, anything that you know might be a stimulus for that assignment, I'm going to put in this box. Then I'm going to put how many points it's worth. Again, you can check or change the assignment group this assignment is part of. How is it graded as points? If it's informative, I might want to check this box to not count it in the final grade. And then I'm going to select submission type. So if there's no submission, I would select that. If it's an online submission, like I want to just have them type into a box, I would select text entry. If they're submitting a website URL, they could click that. Uh, if they're going to upload a media file like an audio or video file, they could do that or a file upload. And when you select that, you can even restrict it to certain type of files. So if you wanted to turn in a Word document, you could say doc. Or if you wanted them to turn in a PDF, you could say PDF. The last type is external tool. To use an external tool, you're going to click find. And you're going to go through the list of external tools and you're going to pick the one that you want to use. You know, each school may have a different list based on the LTI integrations of your school. So you may see some different things than I have here. You would just select the tool you wanted to use. Let's say it was a cloud assignment for Office. This would give each kid a copy of this Word document and then they could edit it as, as you wanted them to. So it's going to go into my Word. Sometimes it gives me a little problem. Uh, I'll just say OK. We'll try it again. You'll see it goes now into my Word. I'm going to find that file I want them to each have a copy of. I'm going to attach the file. Okay, and now I will say select, and you'll see that there's now a URL here. So now that they have that document, I'm going to select a due date. And I can also select um, when they can receive or be open to using the assignment. So I'm going to choose tomorrow at 6 p.m., this assignment becomes available. All right, and I'm going to say save. So I've made that assignment. And if I want to add this assignment to a module, I would go to my Modules tab. And in the module that I want it to be in, so I don't have any modules here, so I'm going to add a module, Module 1, Add Module. If I want to add this to a module, I'll click the plus sign on the module. Under my Assignment list, I'm going to choose that one I already made. And now that assignment that I created is part of this module. If you have any questions about assignments, please let us know. Um, what I want you to do today is try to create an external tool assignment. Um, and if you have problems with that, of course, come and see your ITC at their office hours or us at our live.itcsforall.com office hours. Good luck.